Today's like what, National Dragon Ball Z Day or something? Because I got two Dragon Ball Z things to talk to you guys about and a Smash Brothers character. Now this Smash Brothers, this Smash Brothers character was announced like two days ago, but I forgot to talk about it on the vlog. So here's the vlog. So Ike from Fire Emblem uh, Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance, or also known from Super Smash Bros. Brawl, the replacing character of Roy, is back in the next Smash Bros. game. Uh, the first time when I saw his new look, I was really creeped, well not creeped out, just like crazy, like what? And uh, because I'm not used to seeing Ike from Fire Emblem Riding at Dawn. I'm used to seeing, I guess, the one from Path of Radiance. The GameCube uh, one. And Riding at Dawn's the Wii version one. Uh, I'm a little shocked he's actually back. That's actually a big surprise, a big surprise one. Because next to like a couple other ones, like Toon Link and Lucario, I'm really surprised that they're back. You know? It's also one of those uh, other ones like uh, Charizard. I, I like, come on, yeah, I I feel like he was gonna come back anyways, but not the way that he's being represented right now because I felt like he's gonna be back with another Pokemon trainer or something like that. But hey, I don't know what's going on with Nintendo. So they surprised me three times in a row. Ike is back for Sm uh, Smash Brothers Four. So I'm guessing a lot of the Smash Brothers characters from Brawl will be coming back anyways. Most likely, Lucas will be back. I've been noticing this pattern. So Lucas will probably will be back. Just have to be waiting for that announcement. So uh, Ike, Lucario, and Toon Link is back. That's great. They're all Brawl representatives. Toon Link was not in Melee because it was Young Link. So all Brawl representatives are back. Most likely except for like a couple few that has not been announced yet. Like, uh, I don't know, Rob and Lucas and... Uh, I can't think of the other ones. Like... Mel uh, Snake, Solid Snake. I haven't seen him yet, but there's a couple other ones, you know. But they're mostly from mainly like uh, Mr. Game and Watch, and uh, we all know she's coming back, Jigglypuff. Even though it's not a she, it could be a he, but whatever. Uh, so yeah, Ike's back. That's pretty surprising. I was not uh, <laughs> expecting that. So yeah, and. Uh, I want to talk about that. There's this one website called OneFinalSmash.com. If you go to OneFinalSmash.com, it gives you like I think a 20 second or less seconds video t or something introduction saying to be a new Smash character that was never appeared in any other Smash games until now. We hear swords. It's about a demon mass missionary killer. My friend Connor, which I'm talking to on Skype right now, thinks it's Simon Belmont. I give them two other good examples. It could be Knife Mayor from Soul Calibur because, you know, Namco is working with the game. Or it could be Crom from Fire Emblem Awakening. Or I give them Magnus from uh, uh, Kid Icarus Uprising. Now, those are only three of my just, uh, selections. I don't know much more that can fit that uh, category, but... Who knows, we got four, it could be a fifth one, but I can't really think of a fifth one. So, or maybe I am counting, maybe that is a fifth one, I'm just counting really bad, but hey. Anyways, uh, to Dragon Ball Z, which was just talked about in the beginning of this vlog. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to say, <sighs> it is Sunday, okay, sorry, Sunday, May 25th, 2014. So, yes, Sunday, May 25th. 5th, 24th, oh my god, I just forgot. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 5th, 2014. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Dragon Ball Z news. So apparently, Dragon Ball Z Kai, that, the show that was premiering on the CW4, four, the 4 Kids, CW4 Kids in the Saturday morning block, and on the Nicktoons network, any time zone, like or any time block, any really, is now shifting over to Toonami's Adult Swim Saturday night, which is pretty interesting because wow, they actually pulled it off. Um, because they did confirm that the Majin Buu saga is now and uh, running works to see how it goes. It went successfully successful in Japan, it's coming here to North America, we know that, so I'm pretty sure that's why. And plus, Bleach is almost done for us in the North Americas. So I can finally 
watch Bleach all the way through if I wanted to know. Almost. Also, uh, it's a big, good decision by Toonami because Bleach is one of their biggest shows to watch on there. And now that Bleach is almost done, they want another big show like Dragon Ball Z. So, it'll be Dragon Ball Z Kai. It's the only bad thing, but hey, it's still Dragon Ball Z. So, a lot of people still love Dragon Ball Z. To this day, it still gets countless money out there about anything to do. Toys, anime, video games, everything. So, it'll, it'll sell really, really fast on everything. So, now the last Dragon Ball Z thing I want to talk about today is because I bought another game. I bought, everybody, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. Uh, right here. Right there. Dragon Ball Z Battle Z. Bought it for the 360. Now the reason why, I didn't buy it for 40 or $60 or 50 I didn't buy it for anything like that. Uh, first time in a long time, I went to Target from like two years ago. Uh, last time I think it was with Anthony on Black Friday. And I went to Target and I found Dragon Ball Z Battle Z for only $20. And I said to myself, I have to buy that now, or if I'm never going to see Dragon Ball Z game ever this cheap again, that's super brand new. So I bought it, and I only played a teeny bit of it, because I already know how it's going to be played, and I love it, of course, but, you know. Yeah, so Dragon Ball Z Battle Z, uh, brand new, $20, you couldn't beat that no matter what. So, I have now five Dragon Ball Z games, six if you count, count two games in the collection of the HD collection, which I don't really count, I just count all full, so five. For the 360, and now I'm missing one, and I don't count Xbox freaking Connect. I don't count the Connect Dragon Ball Z one. It's just bullshit. No, I'm only missing one now, which is Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Tenkaichi. I have all the other ones: Raging Blast, Raging Blast Two, Budokai HD Collection, Burst Limit, and Battle of Z. Now, Ultimate Tenkaichi, and I'm done for the Dragon Ball Z ones. <laughs> um, that's really my biggest conversation of the day. Just. Uh, one final smash dot com. It could be whoever it could be, a demon mercenary killer for Smash. It uh, two Dragon Ball Z things. Dragon Ball Z Kai is coming to Toonami, and I bought Dragon Ball Z Battle Z and uh, the returning character Ike from Final Emblem: Radiant Dawn and Path of Radiance back in the next Smash Brothers game number four for 3DS and Wii U. So that's really the biggest com competitions. That's really the biggest things I wanted to talk about today. But that's that's about it. So. Uh, as always, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Memorial Day, which is my day off, thankfully, and I'll see you guys tomorrow, okay? Bye!